So why do you end up attracting women that you're not really that into and the woman you do really find attractive, it always seems like an uphill battle to actually get those types of women. Isn't that frustrating? Isn't that irritating when it happens? And the funny thing is it's actually linked in a strange way to your own self-worth. So if you don't know me, my name's Daniel and I help men become men they can be proud of and attract women that they're proud to be with. And the thing is, if you don't understand some of these insights around your self-worth and how it plays out with women, you could end up settling one day for a woman that you know you could have done a lot better. And this took me years of understanding and coaching and insights to figure out. And the insights I'm going to drop here, it's probably things you've never seen explained in this way and how it relates to your dating life. So this isn't for the mainstream. This isn't for most men. They wouldn't get this. But for people, if you're drawn to this content, if you're watching this video right now, it's going to go under the radar and it's going to hit you where it's going to be most important. So enjoy the video. Today, I want to talk about why it can be very dangerous, this phenomenon of men looking to seek their self-worth through women, using women as a tool or an object to fill a hole inside of them. Now, this can be very dangerous because when we are looking to get our self-worth from something outside of us, like women as an example, we're really a slave to women in a lot of ways. They have the ability to pull us on a string this way or that way. You'll see this a lot when you look at your own emotions. Your emotions give you a good indication of if you're seeking your self-worth outside of yourself or not. And specifically, if it happens with women a lot, because it is such an emotionally charged area. It's such an emotionally vibrant area. And there's nothing wrong with emotions. I like the idea of getting really good with women and getting really good with money, because those tend to be, for men, an area that has a lot of charge around it, that has a lot of self-worth issues around those different areas. And the problem is, like I said, if we're always seeking our self-worth through wom woman, we're a puppet to the outside world. One day we go out and a woman gives us her attention and we feel great and we feel amazing. And the next day we go out, maybe we try to talk to a girl. She doesn't really want to talk to us. She's not really interested. And all of a sudden we're doubting who we are. Am I a loser? What's wrong with me? And we're basically putting it outside of ourselves, which is the main primary error here. It's not that we shouldn't ever feel emotion. I'm not saying if you connect and have an amazing day with a great girl, that you're not going to feel a little bit of an up. We're human. That's normal. That's natural. I'm not saying if you really like a girl and she doesn't want to see you again, that that's not going to hurt a little bit. But these high emotional highs and lows are just an indication that we are ungrounded. Whatever we're infatuated with will run us. And often we're infatuated with women. We're actually not even there connecting with them. We're not actually there meeting the woman. Everything is happening as a way to, as a source of infatuation, as something you're almost borderline obsessed with which might seem like a strong word, but it almost works like that, like an addiction. Has she texted me back yet? I haven't heard back from her yet. Oh my gosh, did I say the wrong thing in the text message? It has these very strong pulls on it. And that's showing us that our, we're seeing our self-worth outside of ourselves. And whether this date goes well or this woman wants to connect with us or not, has a big impact on our self-worth. You know, what does it say about us as a man? Let's say you see a cute girl standing in the grocery store and you feel called to go speak to her. What does that say about us as a man that we're so worried about what some girl that we don't even know, we don't even know her, what she thinks about us matters so much to us. Like, I can't go, in, what if I get rejected? What if she thinks I'm weird? What if this is creepy? Start to value your own perception of yourself 
over other people's perception of you. If you see that cute girl and you go in and start a conversation, even if it goes nowhere, your own self-esteem should be like, I went in there. That what was in my control. I focused on what was in my control and I acted upon it. Amazing. That makes your self-esteem rise. But when we're focused on things that are outside of our control, but what if she rejects me? Or what if it doesn't go well? You don't really have any control of that. Sure, you want to upgrade your skills and make yourself in a more attractive man and your conversational skills, the way you present yourself. But you can only do what's in your court. Do everything you can. Do everything you can from your side, but do it for your own growth. Do it to fuel yourself. Do it to build yourself up. Don't do it so that other people will, will finally approve of you. And we all have this tendency to, to some extent, but it comes out in a big way around women, around dating, around relationships, around attracting women. And the funny thing is, you know, this has a lot to do almost with your self-worth to some extent, because it normally only happens with a certain caliber of girl, a certain quality of woman. Like, let's say you're talking to a girl that you don't find that attractive. Well, you don't really care if it goes well or not. You know, you're not trying to get the girl. You can't show your buddies how awesome it was. And it's really funny because when you interact with a girl in that way, where you're not trying to get her to enhance your own self-esteem, that actually makes you very attractive. You're more free flowing in your conversation. You're not worried about, is this going to be good enough to say? And you're just allowing yourself to express yourself. And that's very attractive to women. That's why men often have this conundrum. It's like the women that are attracted to me, I'm not that attracted to. And the woman I'm attracted to aren't really that attracted to me. It's like these women, I don't seek my self-worth in. But these women, I'm using them to prop up and reinforce my own self-esteem and self-worth. And it's almost like, almost mean in a way. It's like you bringing all this baggage to your interactions, to your relationship with women, all your insecurities, all the rejections you've gotten before, all the heartaches. And you're basically going up to this hot girl with all this baggage, all this stuff and saying, please, if you validate me, then, then none of this stuff will matter. It'll prove to me and other people that I am worthy and that all this stuff doesn't matter. And instead of dealing with all of that baggage, instead of working on yourself and becoming a masculine man, becoming an attractive man, you're just looking for the quick band-aid. And that's why sometimes getting a girlfriend can be one of the most dangerous things because you've got all this baggage, you've got all these issues, and you just say, well, if I'm not alone, then who cares? Like, I, who cares? I've got all this stuff. I, I'm, 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 I'm not alone. And that's why breakups can be a real liberating experience. And you'll often see men go up and up and up and up after an experience like that is because they have to start dealing with that stuff. They can't rely on, oh, well, I'm not alone because maybe their girlfriend's broken up with them. And then they actually start to face some of these issues. They start to look at their character. They start to look at the way that they understand dating and understand feminine psychology. Maybe the way that they thought about it previously with all this nice guy, I've just got to be really sweet all the time. Maybe they start to see the flaws in that way of relating because it didn't work out. And now they're looking for other options. Now they're going into a growth expansion phase. So some, for, for some men, getting a girlfriend can be the worst thing ever because it, 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 I don't have to work on everything. Look, I got a girl. And if you're a man who's maybe hasn't got a lot of girls and you face a lot of rejection and being beaten down a lot of times, in the short term, it might seem really bad, but it's probably fueled you. You've probably had to grow a lot. You've probably had to work on yourself a lot. And that's been the, the secret benefit of it. So one thing to do is stop going to women with all your baggage and the woman can feel it. They can feel it when they interact with you. It's like you're a little bit more needy. You're a little bit more this girl approval. This girl's approval matters to me. I better say the right thing. Well, why hasn't she texted me back yet? 
it show, and, and the girls can feel it and they're like, ugh, like, why are you bringing all your baggage to me? Like, don't you want to go sort that stuff out? And then when you come and interact with me, come from a clean slate, not wanting me to play mommy or bandage for all of your issues. Women don't want to play that role because it's funny, the guy that actually gets those high quality women, the nines and tens that people speak about, he's relating to her in the same way you relate to a woman that you're maybe not that attracted to. He's carefree. He's not worried about her approval or not. In some areas, in some way, he's not resting his self-esteem on if this interaction goes well or not, if this relationship works out or not. He's like, the relationship works out? Awesome, cool, that's great. The relationship doesn't work out? Okay, cool, no worries either, I'm still good. The variations of the emotional swings are much lower. And this, you can also look at your own life to see what is the caliber of woman you're able to attract? With what type of woman do I start to feel that anxiousness, that neediness, that approval seeking come out? And normally those are the women that you mess it up with. It doesn't really go anywhere because it's showing you that you perceiving that woman as out of your league. So what can you do about this? As a man, you want to lean into your edge. So you always want to be finding that error. You don't want to be like, oh, well, I don't care. I don't have any feelings for this woman, so I should just be with her because I'm more grounded and I'm more present with her. That's great. But you want to stretch yourself as well, depending on what phase of life and relationship you're in. You do want to go with those girls where you do feel a little bit antsy because that's also an opportunity for you to grow as long as you realize it. Saying, why am I getting antsy here? Why am I putting my approval on this girl's, on the outcome of what happens with this girl, on how this girl reacts to me? And in that way, it becomes a healing process. You can start reclaiming some of your power and bringing it back instead of putting it all external. And that helps you heal some of these self-worth issues that may be going on. But that's something that you have to look at. But if you're completely unconscious about it, saying, please save me. Oh my gosh, if I could get this girl and all my friends would see me with this girl, like how cool would I look? Well, now you're in a dangerous place because most men aren't even aware of how that's actually playing out. You want to bring some level of awareness to us so you can look to heal it. So you can look to step into your power. Women love a grounded man. Those high quality girls, they don't like the guy who's falling all over them and completely ungrounded. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're so amazing. Those aren't the guys that she's attracted to. She's attracted to a guy who's in his center, who's not easily knocked off his perch. He remains grounded in front of the woman's beauty. That doesn't mean he doesn't appreciate her beauty. That doesn't mean he doesn't feel things. But it's like, yeah, you're beautiful. That's amazing. But yeah, I'm still getting to know you. Versus most men today, it's like the woman hasn't even done anything besides look hot and they put so much importance on it. They're willing to give so much. They're so invested where the girl hasn't have to do anything to win that investment. And what that really is, is a lack of standards. You've shown to the girl and to the world that like, I'm easily won over. I'm a man who's easily won over and those aren't the type of men that women want to be with. They want to be a man that's a challenge for them, that they have to work to win over, but you're over before the game's even started. Or even worse, you're trying to put on a front that you have standards where deep down you're trying to use it as some technique because you know that that's lacking in your life and you're saying, I'm going to use this technique so I can get her. I'm going to show you I have standards so I can get her, which is not the way you want to be going about that at all. You want to actually encompass this in all areas of your life. You want to have standards with your friends. You want to have standards at your place of work. You want to have standards with the type of girls you hang out with. You want to have standards at the place you work out with, the fitness center. Have some standards. 
not just with women, but in all areas of your life and it will flow in more to your relationships with women. Okay. And this is important. Part of a man's mastery will always depend on how effective he is with women. It's not about going to the other extreme now and saying like, oh, well, I shouldn't seek my self-worth in women. I'm just going to lock myself in my room and, and meditate forever. That could be good for a period of time, but you want to interact with the world. The world is a lively place. Don't cut yourself off from those rich experiences. Sometimes they might be a little bit negative, but there's also the positive as well. Don't check out from the game of life. Don't sit on the sidelines. Get involved. If you get hurt a little bit, awesome. Smile. Dust yourself off. If you get yourself heartbroken, not the best feeling, but use that as a growth experience, to, as a catalyst to go into the next evolution of yourself as a man. Build up your self-worth in other areas. Do you have a great group of male friends? Men that have your back no matter what. Men you can be honest with. Men, you can share the things that you're scared to share with anyone else. If you don't have that and you're bringing all that baggage to woman and you want your woman to be your therapist or your mommy, she doesn't get attracted to, to men like that. That's not the type of men she wants to be around. So you need to investigate in yourself. She wants you to lead her. She wants to almost, in a way, be seeking her self-worth through you. Not quite in that way, but she wants to look up to you. But if you're the one, her approval matters a lot to you, that just shows her that you put her on a pedestal, that you see her as above you. Instead of coming to her in your fullness with a cup that's overflowing, I've worked on myself, I've done so much work, and I'm overflowing with my own self-worth, and I can even give some to you. Most men are like beggars. They're coming with their little empty cup saying, please fill me up. Please validate me. If you like me, that means I am worthy. And that's a very dangerous place to be as men. That's a place you don't want to be. Because it never works. The game is rigged outside of yourself. And this is a journey. You don't just go from super emotional highs and lows to very small ones. It's a journey. It goes up and down and up and down. And slowly over time, you find yourself becoming less emotionally reactive when that girl flakes on you or ghosts you or doesn't want to see you again. You still feel something, but it's not as extreme. That's a sign of maturity. That's a sign of a man heading in the right direction. You're not suppressing your feelings and pretending they're not there because they will just stay there under the surface longer and longer and longer. Part of it is even owning those high emotional feelings. Like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty shit because that girl didn't want to text me back. I'm... Yeah, it actually really hurts. Part of the healing of it is acknowledging it. You've got to feel it to heal it. As long as you're avoiding it, pretending that it's not there, pretending it doesn't matter, well, you never actually get to it because you're never honest with yourself. Start with honesty. Are you honestly seeking your self-worth through women, through your relationships with women, through having sex with women? And if you are, cool, be honest with that. Own that place as a start because now you have uh, an honest place to start where you can move forward. If you're always delusional, no, I'm fine. Oh, it doesn't matter. You'll see this always when guys go through a breakup. You can see they're hurting. There's pain going on inside. They're, oh, yeah, I'm over her. Like a two-year relationship, like two weeks later. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally over her. Instead of owning it, instead of owning the hurt so that they can actually move past it, they suppress it. And then it just stays there again and again and again. And that's even communicating again, reinforcing this low self-worth. I can't be vulnerable. I can't be honest about where I am because that'll show that I'm, I'm, I'm so low value. That will show that I have no worth, but it's actually not the case. Some of the most quote unquote high value men I know, some of the men who have the best self-worth, self-esteem, they're also the most honest. They're saying, I fucked up. Hey man, I've actually been kind of depressed this last week or two. They're so sure of themselves that they can actually be honest with themselves and others 
because they know who they are. But with a man who doesn't know who he is, he can't share those types of things. He can't say those types of things because, oh, what if I tell people I've been sad? Well, then everyone will think I'm a loser. And maybe I think I'm a loser, so I better not tell anyone. And it just becomes this cycle that you repeat over and over and again. And it doesn't really get you anywhere. It doesn't really help you in this regard. So no matter where you are on the journey, start to look at this and start to build your self-worth in other areas. Like I say, in your career, in your fitness, in your relationships with other men, in your own mastery, what are you bringing into the world? How are you being of service to the world? Sometimes we avoid those areas and we look for women to solve all those problems when we're in a job we don't like and we have some business we want to start, but we're scared to do it. So instead of actually dealing with that demon and that crisis and fighting it to build your own self-worth because that will up-level you as a man tremendously, it's now we, we go into these, these other areas, okay? So part of being an attractive man is learning to have mastery with women. I'm not saying that's not important, but don't put all of your eggs in that basket because it also brings pressure to you and women in those interactions and women don't want to be around that. They're like, ah, oh, why is he putting all this pressure on me? Why is he putting all this pressure on himself in this, in this interaction? Work on filling yourself up. Work on doing all the work so that you can communicate with women in a clean way, in a way that she enjoys it. Not that you're bringing all this issues and trauma to her saying, please save this. Please help me with this. That's not the function of, of, of the relationship. So think of it for yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. There's a war on masculinity going on. And if you want to be a stand for the new modern form of masculinity that's empowering men again, make sure to hit the subscribe, drop a comment below on your biggest takeaway. Check out this video here and this video to strengthen yourself so that you can be an empowered and effective man in today's world. And I'll see you next time.